So this is the beginning of my uh, vertical dipole quarter wave for 2 meters and 70 centimeters. It's a dual band antenna that I am making and uh, this wasn't originally my idea, it was another person's idea. I will link him uh, somewhere in the left hand, top left hand corner. And uh, anyways, um, I, I haven't started from scratch. As you can see, I've already got some stuff going on here. But I'm going to be putting this antenna together. And uh, actually two antennas together because I'm uh, making two. One for my uncle and one for myself. And uh, these uh, are going to be going together. They're going to be cut. And that's the next thing we're going to do. And uh, I still need to add an end to that uh, coaxial cable. That one still needs one end. This one already has a PL259 connector on it. But it is a crimped connector, not a solderless connector. I, s I really don't like the solderless. Ah! Wait a minute. Let me think. Okay! That is a crimped connector and it is not a solderless connector and I really don't like solderless connectors so um, I don't know how I feel about that yet we'll see how it works but um, after these are cut and uh, everything I'll uh, move on to the next part of the video so now that we have our elements cut to the correct length um, we're gonna drill our holes and start assembling our antenna um, to completion and uh, we have a lot of parts so uh, uh, here we go with all that. We're only doing one antenna, as I said. I'm saving the other one for my uncle, and it also needs the uh, PL259 connector, so um, we're just going to do mine for now. So now that we have our holes marked, we are going to uh, drill our holes. Okay, so for parts, um, we'll start out with the uh, terminal uh, connectors. We're using number six hardware because that's what um, the original creator used and uh, I didn't want to switch things up because usually when I switch things up, I screw things up. So we're just going with all the original stuff he did. Anyways, um, this is number six, well, size to number six um, terminal crimp terminals. Now I crimp them and then I solder them because I believe in really good solder connections especially for RF energy. Um, so we have two number six machine screws. Um, we've got uh, numbers, two number six uh, wing nuts, um, two number six lock washers, two number six uh, washers, and two number six uh, external lock washers with the teeth on the um, outside instead of the inside. Um, and then we have four half inch um, washers and these um, go on to our elements for our antenna and uh, later when the antenna is put together they slide up and down for tuning and uh, that's what secures the elements to the uh, mount and uh, this um, these uh, will be doing that. Um, all of the elements, the elements are stain, made out of stainless, eighth stainless steel rod, eighth inch, and um, all of the hardware, all of the number six hardware and those uh, half inch washers are stainless steel. Um, definitely go with stainless steel, it is a little more cost costly, but um, in the end you won't have a rusting antenna and that's always a good thing. So we're going to start by putting this uh, together. Alright, so I made a few mistakes, bear with me. Uh, first mistake I made was to put in the uh, machine screws first. Uh, I need to put on the lock washers before I put in the machine screws. So now that's taken care of. The lock washers are on the other side. So make sure you do that first. Um, if you get confused by my video in any way, shape, or form, uh, go to the um, other video where I originally got this from. Uh, it's it's better explained than I'm doing it and uh, I'll leave the link in the description but anyways uh, the machine I mean the uh, external lock washers go on first and uh, 
now after that we put on our uh, our um, half inch washers and uh, actually I'm going to put that on the other way just really strange just kind of way I like it and uh, then we put on our elements and uh, a little more room here so we have to push stuff aside. Uh, so much crap. Alright. So now that the stuff's out of the way, you can see how this is starting to form. And we take our other washer, put that on top. We uh, take our smaller number six washer and we put that on top of this washer to uh, make up for the difference of this number six hardware right here so we don't have a big washer on a little piece of hardware it's uh, like an adapter almost like a coupling uh, then after that we take our split washer put that on top of there and uh, then we can secure it all down with our wing nuts and uh, that's one side done uh, and I'll do the other side and uh, then I'll just uh, complete the video right there well I hope you enjoy the video everything's done the whole antenna's together center conductor goes to the top element shield goes to the bottom pretty self-explanatory and then we've got our feed line our PL259 connector and uh, we're in business. All we need to do is slap a mounting bracket on there and we'll be able to uh, throw it up there. Uh, please check out the other fellow's video that, um, that I uh, got this idea from. He goes into way more detail and uh, um, I, I'm going to have the measurements in my description but he will be able to help you uh, a little more than I will on some things and I hope that my video helped you a little bit in areas that he didn't cover too well. So. Um, uh, yes, thank you, and um, I hope you enjoyed the video.